All right, folks. So uh, this is a unboxing video. This also happens to be my birthday gift. Now, a lot of times on the channel, I buy stuff, and it's for the channel. This is really for me. Um, so I had to be careful what I bought. You know, part of this is uh, is from the wife. Part of it's actually the uh, monetization money from the channel. But I wanted to make sure I got something I would enjoy for many years to come. So, hence uh, why we got what we got in here. Now, I didn't actually buy a brand new laptop, but I did buy a certified, recertified, whatever, refurbished and that's what this guy is so before we get to it here is the power pack which is just ridiculous like um, there's my hand right and I have pretty pretty big hands um, so whether this is the original or not I would assume it is but that thing's big okay so this did not come with a box. Um, this is from uh, Acer. And it is freaking ginormous. Holy smokes. 17.3 inch is how big this is supposed to be. Um, before we open it up and turn it on and all that shit, we just drop a That's a 14-incher, uh, so way heavier, obviously, and length width, all that good stuff. All right, let's see if this fires up. All the, the part number crap and all that will be in the uh, description. And it looks like it's coming completely dead. Oh, that's not the power button. power button's over there. So we'll plug this in. Acer Nitro. I think this was a i7. So this was a uh, i7 13700H. You know, with the desktop CPUs, quite a difference in performance between 12th and 13th gen. Uh, part of the reason why I decided to go 13th gen i7. Now, just like I said, the power cable is ridiculously big, but it's also you know, pretty long. And can I get a, that's what she said out there somewhere? Um, just kidding. So, I don't know where the hell this thing plugged in at. The back, maybe? <laughs> To set up your device using a screen reader, oh turn please, on Narrator by pressing Windows plus Control plus Enter. For more accessibility features, please press Windows shut plus her U up. or select the accessibility icon in the bottom corner. Alright. So I guess we'll uh, we'll talk about this and then I'll do a I'll do a separate video for the setup. I gotta clean all this crap up off the counter. Alright. So i7-13700H, I thought, folks, about getting the, um, this has a RTX 4060 in it. I thought about getting the RTX 3070 Ti because the performance was, uh, seemed to be actually quite a bit better. Can't remember if it had more, uh, video RAM but from what I saw, it looked like it was the better way to go. But I couldn't pass on this. Um, 1440p screen, right? So, and a 17.3. You can see um, QHD 165 hertz. The RTX 4060, which is either 6 or 8 gigs uh, in this version. Of course, the desktop 
graphics card version is, you know, eight gigs, but, uh, yeah. Um, I don't know if this is, uh, yeah, backlit. So RGB type lighting, pretty cool. We've got the numeric pad. Things can weigh a ton. I'm not even sure this will fit in my backpack, which is kind of scary. Uh, I got this really, and you know, obviously for, a, like I said, for a birthday gift, but we also wanted it for travel. As you've probably noticed, we've got quite a few channels, one of which I, I do a lot of travel stuff on. And so, you know, if I'm going to travel, I might as well be able to enjoy my gaming. Um, sometimes you will see, you know, me drag a whole desktop with me. Uh, I think this thing is going to solve that problem. Uh, one of the you know reasons I wanted the bigger screen too is just as I'm getting older, folks, the eyesight. Uh, I'm hoping the 17-inch screen will be a little bit better. Nothing better than you know worse. Well, nothing worse than a 14-inch screen, but if you can look at a you know much bigger screen, I think this will help just by you know standing where I am. Right now, the print's a lot better. What else? Uh, I think this was one terabyte. We will eventually open this up and see if we can add another drive. Um, this thing is so massive that you would hope that we could uh, we could do something like that. 16 gigs of RAM. I want to say it was DDR5. Um... So we'll eventually upgrade that as well. I don't know when we'll do it. You know, 16 is probably enough. One of the uh, the other gaming laptop that I have, I upgraded from 8 to 32. Significant difference. But, you know, realistically going from 8 to 16 uh, was probably the majority of that difference. Going from 16 to 32, uh, not as big a, you know, increase in performance. So... What else, folks? Um, yeah, just uh, it looks like to, it's in great shape. Um, you can tell we've got we're gonna have some good sound out of this. I think I love the fact that this is highlighted in white, so you can tell uh, for gaming purposes where you're gonna go. Now I'll take a, a look at the back. Let's see if. Uh, this looks like it's going to be easy to take apart, and it is not. So the whole back is going to have to come off, it looks like, uh, unfortunately. I love when you have a laptop that they give you access to just the RAM and the drive, but in this case, the whole thing's going to have to come apart. So looking at the rest of the features, And let's let's adjust the uh, lighting. So we have uh, ability to plug in the Ethernet, USB 3.0. I don't know if that's a card reader, headphone jack on that side, and unlike the majority of the laptops I've gotten recently. This does have stuff on the back of it, all right? So, HDMI. We've got two Type-C. One looks like a Thunderbolt, so um, probably can recharge off of one of those without carrying this massive brick. We will uh, see about that. Then we have two more USB 3.0s. Uh, that's about it, folks. Not as many connectors on here as I would have thought, but maybe another additional video connector, video output would have been nice. So there you go. Happy birthday to me. Um, I'm kind of excited. And uh, like I said, we'll do, uh, we'll do a setup video later on. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe.